everyone, it's Frankie Lou. I'm coming to you today from the kitchen of the Grow Together Homestead where I'm continuing to put more and more milk jugs out. Um, today I'm dealing with something I know that a lot of people were wondering about and that is very, very tender vegetables. I'm putting out tomato milk jugs today. So I wanna make a couple caveats here. First off, here in zone three near Calgary, it's definitely not too late to get other types of milk jugs out um, for your hardy perennials. Now would be this time to get the rest of, start getting the rest of your milk jugs out if you haven't got um, them all out already. All right, it's not too late. We still have lots of cold weather coming our way here on the prairies. It's the beginning of April, still lots of time. I'm not gonna be putting my stuff in my garden until the end of May, and I often even have frosts into June. So that's plenty of time for cold stratification to take place and also plenty of times for those seedlings to develop once they do germinate into nice sized seedlings that you can put into your garden. But one of the many projects working I'm working on today are these tomatoes that I'm putting out. I've got 12 varieties of tomatoes that I'm gonna put out today. I am going to tell you that I'm not using a true winter sowing technique with tomatoes here in my zone three little homestead just outside of Calgary. I have attempted to grow tomatoes and cukes um, with true winter sowing, just putting a jug out in the snow here. And I'm afraid that all my attempts to do that have failed. So I do this, which is I plant these up as I would another, any other milk jug. I, I've, I've got three to four inches of good soil in there. I've got it labeled all over the place, both on a tag on the inside and all over the outside with a really nice acrylic paint marker pen. And um, I'm going to tape these up. Okay. But I'm only going to be putting these outside during the day. Um, I still have got, I've been looking at the forecast. I've got freezing temperatures coming at night for weeks and weeks to come and these will not germinate very well and the seedlings when they do come up while these milk jugs do provide a heck of a lot of protection they're not going to be protecting a really really tender thing like a tomato plant from minus eight minus ten okay which i got coming up some of my other milk jugs that are out there right now are sprouting hardy perennials are coming up i've got lots of poppies and stuff and i'm not worried about those um, those will be fine with the temperatures that are coming up, but these wouldn't, okay? So while you might be saying, well, why the heck are you doing that? Why are you doing stuff that you have to bring in and out? Isn't that just as bad as hardening off? No, <laughs> okay, it's definitely not because when I've got these all taped up, I can carry four of these at a time and it's a really quick four minutes out in the morning, four minutes in at night. Um, if I have daytime temperatures that are freezing, I'm also not putting these outside then. They can go a day or two if they have to, um, just sitting in a south facing window in my house, if the daytime temperatures are cold as well. Although I am finding that it's pretty consistently above zero during the day here. And now that I've said it, of course, that'll change. And I'm sorry, I apologize to all of you other prairie gardeners. We're probably gonna get a few days that aren't gonna be above zero, but I'll keep them in during that time put them out during the day. Seems like a lot of work, still less work than having to mess with watering um, under lights. Cause when I put these in these jugs, when I put my seedlings in these jugs, I find that I only have to water very, very infrequently, like every few weeks or so. Okay. So that's a lot better than having to deal with a bunch of seedlings that if you leave them too long, I don't have to mess with raising and lowering lights and um, honestly picking up four jugs at a time and putting them in and out just takes a couple minutes. Now, when you're choosing a location to put these milk jugs that have tender things like tomatoes, I'm gonna do this with my cukes as well. And I'm even gonna do it with a few of my squash, okay? I know that I could direct seed squash, but I like to get a good start on it because I do have such a, a short, short growing season here. It, choosing the location of where you place them outside is kind of important too. I really wanted to do this video outside today so that I could show you exactly where it's going. But the wind is insane. I've attempted it, nothing can be heard. So we're doing this inside. And I'm gonna show you right now with some photographs where I place these jugs during the day.
Now, as you can see, that is a very um, sheltered spot. It's right on my deck. It's south facing. And here's the little trick that I have found that is really great and has made a huge difference because it almost acts like a heating pad is I place them on a dark stone surface. That dark stone surface absorbs the sunlight during the day and really heats it up. Like sometimes I'm shocked at how hot the stuff that I have sitting out there gets during the day. Very, very, very fortunate that I do have an outdoor kitchen that I use constantly and, uh, and that is where I place the countertop is where I place that it's nice south facing well sheltered on my deck gets a lot of sunlight during the day if you don't have a stone surface even if you find that you can place it on like you could maybe place a black a black tarp or something and place your jugs on top of that something that will retain the heat a little bit that's going to be helpful for these tender things as well both for getting them to germinate and also to help retain the heat during the day so i'm going to keep working away here planting some of these when i am planting these tomatoes right they're going to be being transplanted into my greenhouse um, in probably four to five weeks time because I usually do find that my seedlings get nice and healthy and great and ready for that at that time I'm only placing four or five tomato seeds in each of these jugs okay because I do want there to be lots of room for root development I don't want to mess around with them too much okay so don't overplant. and also bringing up greenhouses um, sometimes I don't bother with this inside outside thing and I do just plant these jugs in the greenhouse that's heated at night you might ask, why would you bother doing that? Why don't you just plant them directly in the greenhouse? Well, these are great little germination pods, okay? I can't say it enough. Even if you are um, planting in the greenhouse, I have done that. I've just put, the, it put these jugs with plants I wanna grow in the heated greenhouse. This year, I'm holding off heating the greenhouse uh, for a few more weeks because the cost of heating the greenhouse this year is ridiculous so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and I'm gonna just give myself a little bit of extra work at the beginning and end of each day it's worth it for me uh, I hope you'll try it okay I am always amazed at how great these jugs are at producing nice healthy seedlings and um, as always please do ask questions I love hearing from you so I know what I can show you to help out. Please be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of the fun things that are going on here at the homestead. And as always, I hope to take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.